All right, welcome to real. <clears throat> From and focus youth for and focus youth by and focus youth. You're tuning in live to Real Talk. Welcome to Real Talk. I'm Caleb Frierson. This is Christian Maronado, otherwise known as Foggy. And I'm going to be a little more dehydrated this episode. Um, anyways, this is where we provide news stories that are slightly better than your school news. And where Foggy's going to try to decipher which one's fake and real. So let's, Foggy, do you have any opening remarks other than slinging my, your water bottle into mine and knocking it over there? You have any opening remarks? Anything else? No. Praise God. What? So we're just going to jump right into it, okay? Are you okay with that? Is, is that okay with you? Well, I don't see us jumping right into anything if you're just bumping your gums, you know. Bumping my gums? All right, all right. We're on a time limit here. We, come on. We got lots of complaints last week because it was too long, okay? We gotta, uh, okay, okay, okay. So the first story happened in Massachusetts. That's kind of hard to say. And it involves a single mother, a, a single mother and her son moving to Massachusetts. So they moved in, had some movers. She, she got some movers to help her. And her son is about three years old, and he was playing in the yard. Okay, so he's whatever he's playing around on the driveway and he looks over to his left and sees a garden gnome. So anyways, this kid is scared of the garden gnome and he goes behind his mother and he's hiding and and mom's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And so they go to look for the garden gnome and the garden gnome is not there. Next day comes around. Uh Okay. Little kids playing in the yard again, playing in the driveway. Looks over, no garden gnome. Looks at the bottom of the driveway, and there's the garden gnome again. Little kid goes inside. Cry, this time he's crying to mom. Mom, mom, there's, a, there's a something. It's a monster. It's a creature at the end of the driveway. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And, and so he's freaking out. Mom goes out. The garden gnome's not there. Mom's fed up with it. She's like, I don't want to hear anything about the garden gnome this time, this day. So little kid doesn't actually see the garden gnome. But he's still scared. He's on edge. So he's going to bed. Mom just tucked him in. Gave him a cool glass of milk. Tucked him in in his doggy pajamas. And the porch light cast a shadow on his window. And there he sees the garden gnome. So next night rolls around. They're both sleeping. Little kid gets up. He has to pee in the middle of the night. Boom, there's a garden gnome standing in front of the bathroom door. Little kid freaks out, runs back, tells mom, last time. Mom sees the garden gnome. She's like, oh my gosh. Little Jimmy, or whatever his name was, the story didn't say, little boy was crying. Or he was right, he was right, he was true. It was, it was all true. So mom marches down. Next day, she's talking to the neighbors. And they say, yeah, this is our garden gnome. That's it, but we haven't been doing it. What are you talking about? So they start thinking the garden gnome's possessed. The, there's a lot of stories. Mom thinks they're lying. But it turns out that these old folk, this old couple, has a son that's back in town because they're empty nesters, and he's playing a prank on the new family. What are your thoughts on that? I think all this is illegal, uh, right? That would be breaking and entering, yes. This is already breaking yes, and entering. Yes, it is, it is indeed. So anyways, what are your thoughts? What, do you think this is real or fake? Fake. What do you think, guys? What are you thinking at home? Real? Fake? What are you thinking? Good job. It's a fake story. All right. Have you ever heard of those artists? They're like street artists that don't come out. Like their, their paintings are, are like graffiti or something, but it gets mm. washed away with rain. But it's super rare, and people photograph it, and they sell it for thousands of dollars. You've heard of that before? Mm-hmm. Like those street artists? Well, this is kind of the same thing, except this is in Miami Beach, Okay. A famous artist comes out of the woodwork and tapes a banana to a wall and takes a picture of it. And the picture, the photograph, is selling for over $1,000 in museums across the world. So my deduction is we go get a fresh banana from Publix, go get some duct tape, find a local wall in downtown Augusta, and make some cash. Well, here's the problem with that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I think 
Miami hear this is fake. Miami is not a real place. <laughs> Miami. What? Where feel, is this going? Where uh, We were talking about bananas, and you're on this, like, well, conspiracy see, theory that Miami is fake? Well, not just Miami. Florida. Florida, I feel it's too good to be true. You see Florida taxes? Wait, 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 wait. You see Florida taxes? They, those things, they got Disneyland. They got Universal. They got the beach. They but, got... But we've been to Florida before. I've been to Florida Florida, before. Florida. What is it? Just another landmass of Georgia? Like, what are you talking about here? Florida? Yes. Is Georgia, too. All right. Can you... This... Can you answer the... Do you think this banana story is real or fake? I think it's real. Do you think Florida's real or fake? Fake. <sighs> All right, well, one of those is true. The banana story actually is a real thing. I know, because Florida... But wait, but you... But you wouldn't believe that the story is real because it's taking place in Miami, which is a fictional location in your brain. Mm-hmm. Or you mean in real life? Like... <sighs> all right, this is going on. Okay, all right, all right. We're going to go to the next story. All right, this story was titled The Immortal Goldfish, okay? So a 64-year-old woman named Greta... Claims to have an immortal goldfish that she's had since she was three years old, okay? She said that this goldfish went through ups and downs with her, through marriage, through divorce, through kids moving out of the house, her moving places. Um, But she swears that this goldfish has been alive and with her the whole time, okay? So, turns out that she is finally wanting this goldfish to acquire some fame, and she invites Guinness World Record over to her house. Mm-hmm. And the people that uh, prove, like, is this goldfish really this old? Like, scientists, I don't know. People that work on animals. They, they, prove, they say, woman, is this some type of joke? Because this goldfish is only six years old. Okay? So it actually turns out that people along Greta's life, being her parents, her kids, her uncle, whatever it may be, have actually been replacing this goldfish before it dies because the life expectancy of a goldfish is actually 10 to 15 years. Mm -hmm. So within these 10 to 15 years of the goldfish dying, someone was actually replacing the fish so that Greta wouldn't have to lose the life or have to deal with the loss of this goldfish. What's your thoughts on that story? Uh, Wait, is her name actually Greta? That's what the news story said. Man, that's an old name. Yeah? I feel what your name was like. Jeremy, and you were like a hundred, like Jeremy, the hundred year old man, or George, the hundred year old man, you know. Um, which one would you believe over that? Jeremy or George? What does that even mean? The I'm na- gonna, if, if someone's name is Christian or Keevan or Josiah or. See, hold on. Yes. What if an old man said his name was Keevan? Yeah. I wouldn't believe that. Wh- so what about when Pastor Keevan, like, turns old? Well, then I'll be like, oh, snap. Then Keevan will be old, and then... But I'll his be- name didn't change. It will. It will. Listen, so listen, listen. Greta, Edith, come, come Edith is an old woman's name, and Hold Edith on. had to be two at some point. Greta had to be five at some point. What are you talking about right now? Greta, Mm -hmm. never at one point, was Mm -hmm. five. Mm -hmm. She's always been this old lady. (laughs) And that's it. So is the story real or fake? I feel like we're really just going off the deep end here. Uh, That's real. It's fake. I knew it's fake. No, 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 no. no. You said real. You said real. That's what I'm about to say. Is it real or is it fake? And then I said... It's fake. No, 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 no. I'm not having it. The audience saw it. It's literally, we have video evidence that you just said fake. So, anyways, you did good, though. Two for three isn't bad. What are you doing? All right. Do you have any closing remarks? No. Except I deserve all the respect for my theories. Patent pending. All right. Anyways, thanks for joining us for Real Talk. Um, Hopefully, we'll be a little bit more organized next time. Goodbye.